Although individual dark matter particles have very little influence, taken as a whole, they've had enormous influence. Um, now what we know is that most of the dark matter surrounds galaxies in enormous roughly spherical halos. However, there's may be a possibility, and this is something that I researched with my collaborators, that there was also a small fraction of the dark matter that has interactions. And that seems kind of, who cares, it's only 5%. But if that's true, there's a possibility that this dark matter radiates and forms a disk very much like the Milky Way disk. So if you think about it, in our galaxy we have this enormous dark matter halo, but then we have a disk of the Milky Way. And that corresponds to matter that radiated and collapsed to form the Milky Way disk. Maybe dark matter, again, not most of it, but maybe some of it does the same. In which case there would be a thin disk of dark matter embedded in the plane of the Milky Way. Now, what does this have to do with extinctions? Well, here's an interesting possibility. So the solar system goes around the galaxy, circles around basically every 240 million years, but as it does so, it bobs up and down a little bit. Which means that maybe, if there's the right amount of dark matter, every 30 or 35 million years, the solar system will encounter an enhanced gravitational force due to this very dense dark disk in the middle of the Milky Way. If that's the case, it could have some interesting consequences. Because in addition to the stuff we know about our, the solar system, the planets, and even the asteroids, really very far out, maybe 50,000 times further away than the Earth is from the Sun, there's something called the Oort cloud. That's the source of long period comets. So you have these very weakly bound comets at the edge of our solar system. But then if they encounter the gravitational force of a dark disk, they could get dislodged. When would this happen? Well, it's gonna happen roughly every 30, 35 million years when we pass through the Milky Way plane. I mean, we passed through the last time maybe two million years ago. So it could be that one of those passages was what triggered a comet that came to Earth and caused all the devastation that killed the dinosaurs and two thirds of the species on the planet.